What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce Smith. Today we're going to jump into Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Yesterday we tried out some Call of the Wild, the Angler. Uh, and people are really not happy about the way the water looks in that game. I, I went and read some reviews yesterday afternoon when I got done with everything. And people are really, really not happy about that game. Um... So after reading multiple reviews and going back and looking at the game last night, I do kind of I do kind of see what everybody's talking about. The the water is very very blurry. It is not great quality at all. Uh, but uh, this game should be right. This game should be. So I don't know where to start. Uh, but this game does give you a thing at the top right here that says, uh, "This is an early access version of the game, which means bugs, glitches, and crashes may occur. If you will find any of them, please report them on the Steam forum so that we can fix them later." Fantastic. Excuse me. Fantastic. I mean, it's it's an early access game. Cool. Welcome to Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Do you want to start a tutorial? Yes. Let's do that. I'm going to turn my volume up a little bit, too. Uh, but yeah, so this one, I mean, this is Ultimate Fishing Sim. I'm expecting, like, great quality out of this one for, for fishing. I don't really care what the cabins look like. I don't care what the 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 character looks like. The fishing should be good, though. Uh, you can move around while you can, you can, you can move around the fishing ground using the WSAD keys and the mouse on the right side of the screen. You'll find information about the weather, the equipment you're using, look around the fishing ground and then approach the water. Okay. Yeah. So this seems overly like overly bright and overly graphic-y, uh, but the water looks fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. So, so this is this is what this is what it should look like. <laughs> okay, so I take back what I said yesterday about the water. Yeah, the water the water is not great, uh, but I'm not going to compare that to Ultimate Fishing Simulator. That is Call of the Wild, but fishing, right? This is a fishing simulator. There's it, Call of the Wild. The angler is not a simulator. P people people on Steam are comparing it and saying it's a simulator. Call of the Wild, the angler is not is the angler is not a simulator. A simulator, God, I can't talk today. I just ate some Doritos. You know those Cool Ranch Doritos they get in your mouth. It's like dries it out or something. I don't know. Um, but Call of the Wild, the angler is not a simulator. Ultimate Fishing Simulator Two is a simulator. So I expect it to be more fishing, and I don't want to compare the two because they're not the same thing. Um, but I may do a whole breakdown on this and a whole opinion on both of these uh, and put them side by side and do some cuts back and forth. I may do that. I may just do a whole breakdown video of this. And just give my thoughts on it. Because I really don't care about the water, but it is blurry in the other game. I can see where it would hurt people's eyes uh, after going back and playing it. It doesn't bother me, but, you know. I don't, I don't really care, though. So, uh, One of the more popular fishing methods is float fishing. Select a float set now by pressing 2. Okay. Float set. Uh, the simplest way of casting the rod is short distance cast. However, keep in mind the aim for a spot with sufficient depth. Prior to casting the rod, you can adjust the depth with the brackets. Okay. Perform a short distance cast by pressing the right mouse button. Oh, it seems they did copy that part, didn't it? All right, so the depth, we can use the brackets. I hope I don't have hot keys for anything here. Float depth five, four, three, three seems good. Um, forecast. That is a short cast, uh, no doubt. Uh, the, <laughs> the line is reeled in my left mouse button. You can change the reel speed with the mouse wheel. You can adjust the drag by the plus and minus keys. I don't like the keys being way over there. You can also re reset the cast by pressing Q. Now fully reel in the line, okay. Oh, we got it. All right, cool. I perform a long distance cast with the left, left mouse button. Do such cast now. Okay. Yeah, I actually like... I actually don't mind the... Uh... Next test is to catch a fish. You can use the underwater camera by pressing U to see what's happening underwater. Wait for the fish to become attracted to the boat. Uh, the bait. So, so I saw some arguments, too. I'm going to be doing a lot of, of talking about uh, Call of the Wild, the angler here too, because th there was a lot of 
People go, well, that's just not realistic. Well, I mean, ultimate fishing sim, I can get underwater with the bait. Now, come on, guys. Really? You really think this is this is realistic? I mean, everything's going to have its quirks, right? Like, it's not all going to be perfect. And that needs to be... Actually, that's about the right depth. Oh, we got a fish coming. Uh, right mouse button, right mouse button to jerk. Cool. Once you've hooked a fish, you can pull it. Uh, you can pull it to shore by pressing and holding left mouse button, right mouse, right mouse button to pump the fish. Uh, so you will get it in a little faster. Pull the fish to the shore. Okay, so we got to do this, and then this. Actually, he's swimming toward us. Let's go. Oh, hang on. Come on, come on. I don't see anything crazy about the drag speed. All right, press and hold. There we go. After Oh, hey, we got an achievement. Got you. I guess it's a like catch new fish. After catching a fish, you can either keep it or release it uh, with each uh, granting you different bonuses. Release the fish now, uh, selecting the one key. Okay, so we got two XP. The price is 203. Uh, it's 33 cents. I set all this to pounds and stuff. How come this didn't... Hang on. I set all of this to... Uh pounds and whatnot key bindings graphics display display yeah so oh i didn't hit apply a bit okay uh i want all this in in stuff i can understand i ain't got no problem with the way other people play by any means but uh all right cool so what's next after catching you keep it or you can release it uh release a fish now select a spinning set by pressing one okay now we got a spinning set all right cool uh, it's time for a new type of fishing. In this step, you'll learn how to use the spinning method and perform a long-distance cast with the left mouse button. Now, something else I think, too, is that uh, this game was not set as a as a full release, right? Uh, it was set as early access, which makes sense. So, um, so I guess that's okay. Uh, Got the lure so its effectiveness is highly as high as possible. The upper right corner of the screen, there is a lure indicator which turns green, means the effectiveness is increasing. Reduce the retrieval speed to 10% with the mouse to retrieve the lure until you get a bite. Keep casting. Okay. There we go. Oh, we got a fish. No, we don't. Just a, Oh, we did have a fish. Holy crap, look at that. We had a fish and the dang thing got off because we were reading... Uh, <laughs> reading the the tutorial stuff. All right, there we go. Slow and steady. Effect. You see the green, uh, the green fish in the right corner there, the right side. Effectiveness is good. That's what we want. Uh, how's it going, Bob? How's it going? Hope you're doing well, bud. Mike Lad Gargoyle, how's it going? Lori, how are you? I'm doing well today. I appreciate you asking. Oh, we got a fish. He had a fish. Uh, there's no indicator on this either that pops up on screen. It's a strike. Uh, there's none of that either. So, again, I don't think Call of the Wild the Angler is getting a fair shake because I don't think it's meant to be... Uh, I don't think it's meant to be a simulator game. Oh, we do have a fish on. Holy crap. Okay. It's a little guy, but we got a fish on. There we go. Uh, Lieutenant Blackfoot, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Uh, select keep. Put your put it in your fish net. That is used to manage fish. You can open it by pressing the menu with escape uh, and opening a player profile. Okay, push space. All right, release, keep. Keep it. All right, pressing M will open the map. Given a location, teleport to a particular spot by clicking on the fishing ground number. Uh, change the weather. Okay. Uh, so M. Want to go here? Do you want to? Yes. Go to the indicated area. You find the information you need in the help tab. Okay. I guess that means uh, the tutorial's over then. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Uh, I don't. I don't. Am I not supposed to be fishing now? Supposed to be going somewhere. Uh, the help tab. Okay, well, I guess we have to go here then, huh? Help. Okay. All right, we went there. What happens now? Nothing? Nothing at all? Uh, hello? 
Tutorial? Is the tutorial done? I think the tutorial's done here. Uh, I can't cast. I can't do anything, really. Find all the information you need in the help tab. Okay, we went to the help tab. Go to different things. Inventory, I guess? Uh, fish? Need to change the view of the fish you caught. Oh, that's right. I forgot you can do that, too. Okay. Uh... I don't know. What's up, Lady Cask? How's it going? Yeah, yesterday we checked out um, uh, Call of the Wild, the Angler, uh, and people were comparing it to this, so I just went ahead and bought this today, and we're going to check this out, too. Again, not a sponsor, not sponsored streams. I didn't get keys from either dev. I bought both of my, my keys. I haven't done anything um, for them. I'm not going to do anything for them. I'm going to give honest opinions on the games, but uh, so far, so this is a little weird. I don't know... Like, we're in the tutorial, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Nah, that's, that's literally the update info. Uh, still some issues, just the version of the game. We'll fix them as soon as possible. With your help, be patient, be happy. Yep. Um, I mean, maybe we're done. Maybe we exit location. I don't know. Maybe we're done. Do we go fishing? Aha, that's it. We were done. That was the tutorial, I guess. What's up, Pace? How's it going, buddy? Yeah, I don't uh I don't know. Yeah, I went to the map. I guess it just wanted me to fast travel and then it said, okay, now you're now you're done. So uh I guess we're done with the tutorial, so that's fine. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, noon? Let's go morning time. Well, your sky seems fine. Uh, Jackson is a city located in the U.S. state of Wyoming. Flat Creek flows through it. Uh, Flat Creek flows through it, with naturally natural, which is a natural tributary of Snake River. Man, I just cannot talk today. <laughs> Snake River, one of the most important rivers in Yellowstone National Park. The city is a major tourist attraction in part because it's located a few miles from the border of Grand Teton National Park. Uh, is this a real place? I'm sure it's a real place. It's in the Ultimate Fishing Sim tends to do things uh, a little more uh, realistic than other simulators, such as uh, Call of the Wild, the Angler, which is not a simulator. It's not a simulator, guys. Uh, for anybody watching that may hate that opinion, Call, Call of the Wild, the Angler is not a simulator. It, it, it is a game. You play the game. That's it. Like that, that as far as far as I can tell, that's it. Like it's not a simulator at all. I can catch a few streams. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm still limited time. I'm still gonna go pick the kid up. Not for much longer though, hopefully. We should be uh we're using the spin. I guess we're using the spinner again. Let's just try this. This frog bait here. I'm gonna throw way out there. Let's see what we get. Uh, cool thing too um, is flash. Now we can reel, and now we can go watch it. Look at that thing. Well, there's a log in the. I mean, there's a tree in the water right there. There's gonna be something over there, right? And we did just throw right between those limbs, too. Which may not matter, to be fair. May get caught up on them anyway. Just a little jig. Doing a little jig. Uh. Oh! Hey! Hey! Got him! And again, there's no crazy, uh... There's no crazy thing that flashes up on screen or anything like that, so. Oh, I see. It's the distance from the shore. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. I got it. I got it. Uh, distance from the shore. I thought it was the length of the fish and all that kind of stuff that we were looking for. No. Okay, so that's... Uh, Yeah, well, at least it did put this in inches, too. I guess that's fine. What's up, Carson? How's it going? Back for more vacation time? Yeah. Yeah, still on vacation. Huge tourist location? Yeah, I want to go, man. Kind of reminds me, uh, Bass Pro Fishing for the f Genesis? 
Just need that fishing rod controller. Dude, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Um, weight, 0.55, so half a pound, 7.96 inches. That's pretty good, actually, for a half pound fish. Uh, seven, well, I guess not. It's not even, I mean, at 12 inches should be a keeper, probably. It's pumpkin seed. A personal record. I don't know what a pumpkin seed is. I've never caught one of those. Uh, I don't know if we can keep this or not. We're just going to release it. I don't think it really matters, to be fair. And right, I saw some that were over here on this side. Let's throw this way. Low and straight. Uh, I upped it to 14% because it was dropping a little bit low in the water. So Keep it up a little higher. So the water looks much nicer, but overall, the graphics don't look any better. The graphic, the, the water graphic is fantastic, though, um, compared to uh, the angler. So that being said, if we're just going on the... Uh, Oh, I thought I had something. We do not have something, though. Maybe I didn't. I just missed it. I don't know. Uh, so, so trying to trying to compare the two is just not. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. This is a simulation game. Well, it got off because I forgot to up the. Uh, forgot to up the real speed. That's why. Okay, all right, fight it, fight it. No, it broke right here. How did you break right here? No. <laughs> uh, I should have... Uh, what is my... My drag is plus and minus. Yeah, I got to remember that. Um, I was trying to figure out what my drag buttons were. No, couldn't figure it out. All right, so tab. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Plus is not the inventory. I was the inventory. What the, the world? All right, incomplete set. I guess we need some line to put back on there. Uh, so how do we, let's see, how do we do this? We go line and then we go use. Yeah. And then we go uh, leader. We don't really need a leader, do we? Not for a, not for a jig setup. Uh, back. And then we go uh, choose. Here we go. Natural, artificial. Oh, we don't have any more. Items unavailable, go to the shop. Okay, so all we have is earthworms. So I guess we're switching to set two. All right, so set two. Uh, not F2, set two. I don't know what I just pushed, but... Uh, set two, and we're going to drop this down to... Uh, what's the... Is it brackets? Is that right? Yeah, it's brackets. Okay. I'm going to drop that down to about four, and we're going to throw right out there. And we're going to get rid of this. Your bait got hooked on the ground. Really? That was like half power. How far did it go? Jeez. I mean, it must have went way out there. I mean, that was like half power. I could have thrown this thing across the lake. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a fishing simulator, right? I mean, that's what it is. This is a fishing simulator. Like, you're, you're, it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot more realistic, except for this whole deal, uh, where we can just pop underwater here, and we got water cam, you know? Um, these be deeper, it looks like. We need those straight out, I think. Let's just retrieve it. Uh, then we'll those straight out. Make it actually kind of throw over that way, probably. Uh, how do we make this deeper? We go like that. No, we go the other way. 7.7. 7. Okay. Gonna throw about halfway here. Okay. We're bobbing. We're bobbing and weaving. Oh my goodness, dude, we almost threw the other side with a half with a half power throw. That is not where I wanted to throw to. Let's pull back some. Yeehaw. 
Probably could still be deeper, to be fair. Actually, that's probably about right. Oh, yeah, that's about right. Oh, we got him. We got him. All right, we gotta remember our drag now. Remember the drag. We don't want the, we don't want the line to break. Again. I do like the movement in this game. It's so much better, though. The movement in this game is so much better. So. Uh, grass pickerel. Can I, can I spin it? How do I, I forgot. There's a button you can push to, to see the fish better, but that's all right. Uh, it's not very big. We're going to release it. We're going to release it. All right, we're going to throw right over here now. I'm going, to do, I'm, going to, I'm going to back off the power a little bit. Man, this is crazy. We can throw all the way across the lake from here. Let's see where that one went. Look at this. We still threw way over there. I'm trying to throw right here next to these trees. Like, that's where I'm, this is where I'm trying to go right here. up and over that uh-huh we got we got interested parties <laughs> we got interested parties here um yeah i mean again i just you can't compare the two there's there's no way to compare these two games one of them's a game one of them's a simulator so the dreamcast yeah buddy was that the one that had the, the fishing thing? Any good snowplows attacks text trucks in SFS22? I do not know. Uh, I know the, 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 um, that tracked thing or whatever um, is, is good for snow, but it's also good for uh, solids and stuff as well. So uh, I do not know. Yeah, that's true, Pace. That's true. Digital downloads are, di are just that. They're just digital downloads. Uh, I'm waiting for the day when they revoke your access to the game um, because you said something on social media. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm waiting on that, honestly. And don't think they can't. They can. It's just whether or not it gets wild enough to do that or not. I think it should be, I think should bait should be lower, probably. Also, we need to go buy something. Like, I need more, I need more uh, jigs. We need some more jigs. Also, it's 61 degrees. Man, that would be beautiful weather here. 61? Feels like 70? Yeah. Yeah, so, so far, here's what I, here's what I can gather. The water looks good. Um... The buildings in the background do not have the same look or or feel to them as uh, Call of the Wild the Angler. Uh, the fishing is more realistic because it's a simulator game. It's listed as a simulator game. Uh, Call of the Wild the Angular Angler is not Call of the Wild the Angler simulator. It is just the angler. So, I mean, uh, I mean, really, you can't compare them. It's not the same. Should the water look better? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let's try this again. Let's go like this. Uh, oh, no, down. I forgot. Yeah, this this one. Okay. All right, let's get a little bit of a throw here. Dude, that's still way out there. Holy crap, man. I think it's just throwing, throwing randomly. Like, I don't, I don't think it matters. Yeah, see those those right there are what I'm trying to attract. Like, this is about where I want to be. I guess I want to go deeper probably too. Probably want to go I guess we should go way deeper, really. Oh, do we have some customers? Do we have some customers for the for the bait here? 
You want you a worm? You know you want you a worm. Come get you a worm. Come on. Come on. But it is fishing, not catching, right? So we're still waiting. When you hit FT, I'm not hitting FT. What you mean? When you hit FT. Lumber mill, snake. Oh, this is a big map. Okay. Uh, this is not what I expected. I expected to be at this little pond right here the whole time. Uh, we're going to have to go around. When you hit foot. I don't, I'm not hitting foot. I don't, I don't know what, there's no, there's no foot button on the keyboard, Bob. And you said you, when you hit foot, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most of the time I can I can kind of get it, but I don't I don't know what you, I don't know what you're saying this time. The drag seems right. Let's up that speed a little bit. Oh no, it got off. What? How's that even possible? All right. Well, uh, how do we set our uh, inventory? Okay. Well, those buttons aren't right anyway. So, earthworm. Yes. Okay. So we're still good. Uh, is there still a worm on there? I don't think there is. I don't think there's a worm on there anymore. Uh, let's just do short cast, because... Really? That is not at all where that was supposed to go, by the way. Because, again, let's go over here, though. That's what we want. We want something right there, I think. I mean, that's pretty close to the... That's pretty close to us, but... Uh, yeah, we want to be out a little further than that, I think. Didn't really go as far as I'd hoped. Is showing meter? Is it really? I didn't think it was showing meters at all. Okay, so, uh, again, didn't really throw this direction, and I barely threw it, and it still went way out here, so... There we go. Get over the tree limbs. Get over the tree limbs. So I guess the only the only upside to this game is it is more realistic because there's nothing that pops on screen and tells you, you got to bite. There's none of that. You know, like it's it's a simulation game. It's I don't know how realistic it is, but uh, it's a simulation game nonetheless. There's no fancy stuff that pops on the screen. There's no crazy, zany uh, NPCs yelling at you when you walk by. Uh, and for me, I will take the blurry water and the zany NPCs yelling at me and having a bunch of random stuff to find and you know having a game to play over literally fishing when I could go down to the go down the lake myself and go fishing. So. Uh, I mean, oh, that's what you're talking about, Bob. You're talking about on the line set. Ah, okay. I mean, that's a good question, honestly. I don't know. Yeah, I think I do need to go deeper. All the fish are much deeper than where I'm at right now. I mean, I do like the fact that we have like stuff happening underwater like it sounds like we're underwater but there's like literally zero sound on the surface zero yeah we need to go much deeper don't we 
Good call, Jeff. Good call. Gotta catch this guy right here. Come on. You know you see it. You know you see it. Oh, there goes a sandwich. I'll see that. It's only it's only reading metric on on the line depth though. Like that's the only thing, and I didn't realize it until I started thinking about it. It's only read metric on the line on the line depth. I think. Uh, let's see. Go deeper. Yeah. So we want to go 1.2 meters. Yeah, we want to go like one point. We want to go like what is that? Four and a half feet right there. Oh god, that's way too far out. So that's something that seems a bit off is the power, right? Like, unless we're supposed to be able to throw halfway across the world. That I understand, but that seems a bit far. We're just barely throwing. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's get you back over by this tree now. Okay. Now, we're down here with the fish. Come on, baby. Bite it. I mean, everything else is set to, uh, everything else is right. When I pull up the fish, it's in inches. How far away is it inches? The time scale is right. Like, everything else is right. It was just that. I just didn't catch it to start with. So, uh, again, though, I mean, if you want a fishing simulator where you're simulating somewhat realistic fishing, other than being able to, you know, bait, do, do the bait cam underwater here, um, yeah, this is the game. If you want something to play and a lot of activity going on, dude, Call of the Wild is the way to go. Whoa, hey, hey, come back here. Got him hooked. Let's go. Let's go. Press and hold. Bring him in. Well, we got 1.47 pounds, 13 inches long. Yeah, we're going to keep that bad boy. Price 3.38. 3, 3 I like it. Uh, fish are pretty deep there. They really are, yeah. Uh, we're going to have to go deeper, I think, too, because that one, I think we got lucky on that guy. Uh, let's go, like, six feet. About six feet there. I just want to barely throw. Still went all the way across the lake, I think. Hey, look how far out that is, man. That's so far over there. Oh, no. We're by the tree now. Okay. Yeah, maybe even deeper than this, actually. And I don't know what our test... I haven't looked at the line and all that kind of stuff either. I don't know what pound test we're using. I don't know what size hooks we're using. I didn't look at any of that. We're just... We're literally just loading up the game efficient. Yeah, that's probably deep enough. That's probably okay. Yeah, I mean, there's like literally zero sound above the... Above the water. I mean, I know it would be quiet, but you would still hear, like, the water hitting the, the moving around a little bit or something. Like, it's just, it's nothing. There's no sound up top. I much prefer this just so we can have some sound. Oh, hey, got him. Got him. Ugh. Gotta watch her drag. Okay. Get him in. Another perch. Yellow perch. 1.57, 14 inch. That's a bigger one. Heck yeah. Get that guy. Uh, do we still have bait on here? Yeah, I can't see it anymore. Yeah, I guess we do. We'll try like, just when it turned white, uh, I'll let go of it. So that's not a whole lot of power. It really should not go that far. And it went to the same place. It's like it's always going to go over there. That's pretty wild. Okay, let's bring it back. Right here. I want to be around this whole structure here. That's where I'm trying to be. Oh yeah, you got it. You got it. Nice big old rainbow. Get it, son. Let's go. Let's go. He didn't he didn't like red worms, apparently. A 
Come on. Man, he swam right by it. I see you up there. Oh, oh, the cam it's the camera. The, the underwater camera scared him off. The underwater camera scared him. All right. Nope. Swim away. Okay. Past the limbs. There go. Set on this side here. And the fish do move around a lot too, though. So, uh, some one of the other arguments I saw on the Call of Wild the Angler was that uh, it, like all the fish were just on the surface the whole time, which is, you know, that's not right. Either. Yeah. So. No, that trout didn't want anything to do with this red worm right here, did it? Oh, dang. Dang, guy. Oh, what the? We set the hook. I thought I set the hook. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I got this now. Uh, it depends on where we're pointing our pole, but the deeper the line is, the higher the pole has to be before you can cast. So if we do this, and then we come down. There we go. That's what we want. Uh, that's still way, way over here, though. Kind of right out the middle of the lake, isn't it? Let's try this. Back up here again. Right between these trees is where we want to be. Very nice. That's where we want to be. Kind of hanging out right there. Uh, I don't know what I need to do. I guess I need to make some money so I can uh, buy me some more gear, buy some more bait, something. I also have better luck on this side of the tree, it seems. I see you, Perch. Come get you some. I know you like worms. And we could even go deeper, couldn't we? Jeez. I mean, they're moving around a lot, though. Yeah, they're moving around a lot. Fish on. We got him. Just reel this one in. It's not very big at all. Little bitty baby perch. Oh, that's a that's a pickerel. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll let it go. Anything under a dollar, I'm probably just gonna let go. Be fair. That should be closer to where we want, right there. Yeah, that's right in there. Heck yeah. All right, we'll let it sit. We'll let it sit. I like it. And just sitting. Oh, dang. I think we missed him. Yeah, I think we missed it. Dang. Well, he drug that sucker way out there, too, didn't he? Not really. I mean, we, we had him, but we lost him. Dang it. Ok. 
Come on. Somebody come get him a bite. Man, the camera's so close, it just comes out of nowhere. I think we got this one. Oh yeah, fish on. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I feel like they're moving, like they're swimming just super fast around everywhere. Like, I don't, I don't think that's, that's real, but, uh, again, just a game. Just a game. It doesn't matter how, if it's super accurate or not. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep that one. That's about the same size we caught while ago. It's still through all the way across the dang pond. Uh, oh no, it didn't. We're right here. You know what? Actually, let's. Uh, how do I just like quick? Yeah, there we go. cancel, cancel that. Let's just cancel that. Let's go. Uh, let's go find us another little place here. There should be another. Yeah, there should be several places here we can go fishing. I think. Let's find us another little pond here. Uh, I'm gonna bring this up too because I don't know how deep this is gonna be here. So we'll just we'll just give her a toss and. Almost went right in the tree. Uh, looking around, it looks like they're going to be kind of out in the middle a little deeper, too. I just want to kind of give it a toss to see. All right, let's move over from out, out from under the tree, then. Uh, and then we'll let the... I thought I hit... He hit Q to cancel. There we go. Uh, let's drop that down a little bit, then. Let's go boom, and then we'll just dip down a little bit here. Uh, nope, that didn't work. Okay, we still threw all the way across the pond. Uh, probably going to have to back this up, get over that rock. Bait is bouncing off the rock. There we go, something like that. Oh, look at you. I see you down there. What's up, Mike? How's it going, buddy? Bud, how are you? There's a tree around. One of my boys would find it. Bob sounds like me. <laughs> Oh, I don't think we got this guy. Oh, now we got him. Okay, we had to reset the hook. Yeah, nothing to it. This one's easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Pulling them right in. Uh, $1.70. We'll keep it. $1.72. Why are you still throwing all the way across the lake, you big dummy? Can we get this rock to connect with again? There's a lot of cover right here. Let it hang out right there, I guess. Let it hang out here. Yeah, I'll probably give Call of the Wild the Angler another try because uh while I, while I do like the, the actual fishing simulation here, this is fine. People say rushing fishing four is better. Uh, or equal, if nothing else. But uh, I kind of want to see what Call of the Wild's got to offer as far as task and other things go. I mean, that's that's the point of the game for me is it's it's fishing, but there's tasks and stuff you can do, and there's NPCs, and the zaniness and quirkiness going on, you know? Uh, I still think it could be a decent game. Look at all this fish over there. Hey, come over here. Come this way. Oh yeah, Bob, I'd be pulling in more seaweed than anything, for sure.
Yeah, look at that log. Yeah, we need to go deeper, I think. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, maybe we need to go deeper. All right, we set this to uh, one and a half. One and a half. Uh, then we start here. Boom. Still threw it over the rock, I bet. Let's go see. Oh, nope. Okay, cool. That's good. Just in front of it. All right, I just want to be back over this way a bit. Kind of right down here in the middle of this mess. Something like that. All right, we'll just let it sit. Yeah, we'll just let it sit there. You cast in a good spot, but five minutes later you're back at the show. Yeah, because you keep reeling it. <laughs> oh, we got we got him. We got interest. Never mind. Just passing by. Just passing through. I guess it could still be good. Nope, here we go. Oh. Man, like a rocket. Where are you going? There's a worm right here with your name on it. Worm right here with your name on it. Come back and get it. Come on. Come on. Come get it. No? No takers? Nobody around? No take that worm's almost gone too. Look at me, he's barely hanging on there. He's trying to get off the hook himself. Like, I don't I don't need to be I don't need to be eaten. Let me out of here. Let me off this hook. Let me go. Yeah, I guess we should probably throw in deeper, shouldn't we? Wow man, that's okay. Oh, uh, let's try it again. Go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna try to throw right over here too, I think. There we go. That's a good spot right there. We're not even moving. That's where we see the camera scares them off. That's what it is. This is that log we were next to a minute ago. I still don't think we're deep enough though. Nah, we're we're probably okay. We're probably okay here. We're probably okay right here. Is it drifting? Are we drifting away from that log? Oh no, we're next to it. Yeah, we are. We're drifting away from the log. Look at that. We were right there a minute ago. I'm not reeling, I promise. I'm not reeling it in. We're being pulled. We're being pulled. Not even by a fish. Just the current, I think. Unless the fish bit a uh, bit the uh, bobber, which not impossible, I guess. Yeah, we're just being drugged around by the current here. All right, take us away. <laughs> Bird flew into your window. <laughs> is right next to you? Oh, that would be scary, yeah. Out of nowhere, man. <laughs> this thing is just drifting away here. Let it go, I guess. Let it let it have the line. I don't know what's going on. We started next to that log way over there, wherever it went. Now I don't even know where it's at. Now can't even see it from here. 
It's back that way somewhere, though. Just drifting around the lake. Go for a tour. Go for a tour around the lake. Who around the lake? Good cover? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I mean, we're just... We're just being drug around the lake here. Oh, looks like we've stopped. We've come to a stopping point. Okay. I see some fish, so that's good, I guess. Decent fish, that's good. Come on, come on, yellow perch. That is yellow perch, isn't it? Nope, didn't want no part of it. Come on now. Is that methane? I don't know, but I'd be worried about it. I would eat fish out of this lake if it is. Seems like a lot. That's a lot of bubbles though, isn't it? Come on. There's nothing over here. Like, we're just, like... Look at this. Look, look, look which way our line's going now. Like, look where we're at. We're, we, we've drifted over there somewhere. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that was about. That was weird. Did we break it? No, we're still good. Uh, I don't know why we drifted so far. That was kind of strange. I just wanted to throw right out here. That's all. Are we going again? We're going again. Why? Why is it going again? What is happening? Why is it drifting to that side of the lake? That's pretty strange. There's like a underwater cave over there sucking all the water down. Yeah, we're going again. Oh, I see a log floating across there. Look at that. Oh, it does. It flows into a creek. That's why. Dang, what a dummy. It does. It flows into a creek. What a big dumb dumb I am. What's up, Ira? How's it going? Good to see you. <laughs> it does. It flows right into a little creek over there. Uh, let's see if I can get... We're going to go. It stayed. Kind of. Yeah, I wanted to kind of get over here next to this, uh, this little over oh, we're right on the rock there. Let's get off the rock. Uh, there's a little tree over here, some some other stuff, some foliage and whatnot. Uh, this seems like a good place right here, actually. Yeah, it doesn't seem that we're floating away, so that's good. Blasting caps. Oh, yeah. Throwing an external camera. Oh, yeah. yeah you got to have the water camera in there, right? Got to get that water cam in. Yeah, that's possible, Jeff. Spring fed. I didn't really think about that, but yeah. Just under what under underground springs. Not the not the bouncy kind, the, the drinking kind. Is 
something these are nibbling oh we're starting to uh get pulled again i think it's the the ladder i see you perch yeah come on get you a bite you know you want it you know you want it come on come on come on you're looking at it you see it it's right there What's up, Spider-Ed? How's it going? Oh, look at He's curious. They do basically the same thing. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Come on. Look at it. He's like... That looks like lunch. But it also looks very suspicious. It looks very suspicious. Worm floating right in the water. Just floating there. Oh! You missed out. Got that pike. No, sir. You're not going that way. That is not a pike, is it? It's a pickerel. A pickerel. Uh, it is a small one at that. Uh, release. You missed out. You missed out, sir. You could have had. You could have had a uh, nice lunch. But we're over there on on the rocks again. Oh no, we're good. That's actually a really good spot right there. Okay. We'll leave it. Leave it set. Leave it set. Are we moving again though? I feel like we caught the current again. No, I think we're I think we're still. We're 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 okay. It's bobbing between 826 and 827. So I think we're okay. Probably be down a bit deeper, even. Uh, I need to go to the shop and see if I can buy anything. I don't know if I can buy anything or not. Alright, yeah, we're good right here. We're not drifting. We're not being pulled by the current. We're okay. Oh, the Bass Pro Shop things. Yeah, man. That was cool. Yeah, so anywhere around that log right there, we start drifting. So, hopefully, we're, yeah, look at that worm. Yeah, let's see the fish all around it. Oh, oh, oh. You want it? You know you want it. Come on. Oh, God. Trout do not eat worms, apparently. It was a trout, right? Rainbow trout. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Like, I know, I've seen it before. I just don't remember what it is. Was that a salmon? Couldn't have been a salmon, right? Really not. Oh, still swimming around. Still thinking about it. Perch is about to take it, though. All right, we got the hook set that time, I guess. There's really no indication to tell you when you have the hook set, so. Uh, probably not going to be very big. Just a little perch. Uh, $1.46, we'll keep it. Anything over a dollar, we're going to keep. All right, let's go to another area here, I think. Let me uh, let me raise this up so we don't get caught on anything. Uh, other way. There we go. Uh, let's actually put that away. There go. Let's see if we can find something else here. There's a... Yeah, this has got to be an, an outlet uh, to somewhere. I guess I could pull the map up. Uh, yeah, that current was pulling me all kinds of ways down through here, though. Now, that looks like a good place to live. I like that. Oh, look at this up here. I don't know if I would jump off of that into the water. That uh, seems dangerous. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, that log is still floating, though. 
I don't know if this is a good idea to fish here or not. This is going to... I think that current is going to try to pull us that way. Uh, let's try it and see. I guess that's all we can really do. Uh, let's drop it down. Okay, and we'll just do a little... Yep, it's going to flow which way? Where are you going? It can't pull my line. I've got the drag all the way at 100%, so... It should stop once the line tightens up, in theory. In theory, anyway. Yeah, we're just floating along here. It is not. It is not stopping, okay? Uh, well, we'll go to another place then. This is this is an area where you want to throw a, uh, a spinner. Or so, a jig of some sort. Something other than a floater. Alright, what is it? Brackets... We go and then we'll just put it away. All right, let's go to the map. We're here. We were just where were we just at? We we started over here, right? I don't know where we started at. Lumber mill. I can't uh, zoom out or anything. Let's go to the old bridge. Well, this looks nice. Uh, this is just down from there. What does that say? Who was here? Is that Joel backwards, maybe? Old bridge. Oh, there's a duck. Hey, duck. There's a couple of ducks. Uh, let's drop it down. I like the scenery. That's for sure. Oh, God. That's going on the other, other side. Yeah. Alright, we're in the water <laughs> somehow. Uh yeah, we can't we can't throw here. Alright, well, let's go to uh Snake River. Let's go to the lumber mill again. I think this is where we we're at the first time. Let's go back over here. Yeah, this is where we we're fishing the first time. Maybe this is not gonna try to take our bait and run off with it. Okay, let's see what's out here. We're not we're not near deep enough here, I don't think. It's a good spot though. There's some logs. Not a whole lot of foliage or anything though. There trees underwater it looks like. Our bait's not trying to run off, which is good. Yeah, it needs to be way deeper. All right, let's try this again. Let's go, go like right here, and then we're going to drop this down. Do what's around us there. There we go. Right out in the middle. Right out by our old buddy. I see some fish. Not a whole lot. A 
Well, Mac, you're on Russian Fishing 4? Yeah, a lot of people say that's one of the best simulators out there. Oh, come on. Come get your bite. It's fine. It's it's fine here. This is this is good food right here. Come get you a bite. Come on, bite it. I would. I mean, you're already risking floods anyway, Bob. It doesn't really matter if you have a door there or not. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, I would definitely have a door, balcony, uh, porch, whatever, right there on the water, man. If I build my house there, I know that it's possible it's going to flood. So having a door there is not going to make a whole lot of difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got him. It's a little perch, but we got him. Oh, the drag still set at 100%, too. I guess I should drop that down some. I know it's not going to matter, but not a very big perch. All right, I think if we can keep, yeah, 272, 12 inches, yeah, we're going to keep it. All right, let's go to the shop. How do I do that? Uh, shop. Equipment shop. Okay. Can I sell uh, fish? Where do, what do I do with the fish? Do I, if I keep it, do I get money? How does that work? Uh, level 1, we got 47 out of 100 XP. We got $200. Um... Oh man, look at this. Three lures for third level. We're not third level though. Uh, let's see, baits, lures. Well, lures, uh, jig. So this is what, level one right here? Is that what that means? $2. Uh, add to cart. I think I want something crazy looking though. We had a yellow one while ago, didn't we? It's a level three, you can't buy those yet. Level fours, okay, so yeah, we really have to start out with these. With the little jigs here, it seems. Um, let's get two of these. Oh, these are free. Heck yeah. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get all of those. And those are free. I'll take them. <laughs> They're giving them away. Heck yeah. Spoons. Can't do anything with spoons. Spinners. Nope. Do I have a level? Off lures. Frogs. Can we get a frog? No, that's level 12. Okay. Minnows. Levels four and six. Topwaters. Can we get a topwater bait? Man, have a, little, have a little bug there would be good. Uh, and then uh, crankbaits. Uh, okay, sinkers. Don't really need sinkers that bad. Uh, so bread is free. Earthworms are $7. Let's add to... Let's try some bread. It's free. I mean, why not? We're getting it on the free, guys. we got to try it out. Uh, everything else is above my level, so can't do that. Uh, floats. Uh, do we have a free one? Don't have a free one. I don't really need one either, to be fair. Accessories. Aluminum support stand double. That'd be cool. Uh, a singularizer territory? I don't know what that does. Does that, does that give you a signal on where stuff's at? What's up, Voltage? How's it going? Rod Pod 3. Nice. Put three three rods up there. Maybe more. Uh, feeder basket. Oh, hey, feeder basket sounds good. All right, homepage. Uh, yeah. Can I sell my Can I sell my fish anywhere? Maybe I can. Okay. Home. Equipment. That accessory. Yeah. Where Where does our fish go? Profiles and fishing net. All right. Open fishing net. Oh, here we go. Uh, go to the fishing net to sell them. All right, so we sail, sail, sail. Yep, sell them all. Nice. Okay. Old fish in the net, none. I didn't even look to see how many poundage we had there. Uh, all right, we made seventeen dollars though. I know that because we had, we had two monies a minute ago. All right, can we go somewhere else? That's the question. Uh, lumber mill car. I can't go to the. Car. Let's go back to two here. Hey, what though? That right there is super nice. That's not picturesque. I don't know what is. I like it. 
Oh, this is like one area right here like that. Kind of weird. Yeah, can I go to a different map? Exit location. Okay. Let's see if we can let's see if we open up anywhere else we can go. Uh, if not, we'll get the jigs back out and try to uh, try to find us somewhere else here. Uh so nope. We need level three for that. Tutorial map. Uh I guess we go here, fish on the map. Yeah. I guess we have to fish here. Alright. I was just going to look. Just cost you a pierced lip. Yeah, right, Bob? No big deal. All right, let's get our number one out here. The set is incomplete. All right, so if we go here, uh, inventory, that's right. Go set one, and then we go uh, choose. Yeah, we got jigs now, so that's good. Uh, let's go with one of these. Use. Okay, now that should be it. We should be good. The set is complete. Uh, and I just kind of want to go like this. I did not mean to throw that close, to be real honest with you. I mean to throw way further out. That's what we want. All right, let's go a little further out here. All right, slow and straight. Here we go, slow and straight. Yeah, got one. Oh, speed, speed. Got real speed up. Got to watch that tension too. Drags on 40. I think we're okay. I don't see anything turning red, so that's always a good sign. Yeah, what is that? What are you? A brown bullhead. That's a catfish, if I've ever seen one. Uh, I guess that's a keeper. But it's under a dollar. I said anything under a dollar, we're going to throw back, right? All right? Let's release. Heck yeah, we caught something other than a perch. Oh, dang. Look, we see a fish right here under us. That's abnormal. A fish on or something? The bait was doing some weird stuff there. They're doing some weird things. I don't even know where this is. It's probably right underneath this. Can't even look at the bait. Oh, because it's right here. That's why. Clean it. All right. Uh, over here by the wall. That did not go as planned. Let's just pull this back in here. Hang on. A little higher. There we go. They're a little further out there that time. That'll work. All right. Real speed's fine. I'm just going to do a straight reel. Oh. Oh, we got something on. Looks like a perch. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Whatever it is, it is not fighting. Uh, or it's not big enough to fight. <laughs> Literally no contest here. There's a pumpkin seed. Uh, release. Okay. Back down to 10. That seems to be a good speed for this thing. Another bull head? Or brown head? Oh, 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 hang on. Hang on. Let's it drag out.
Man, a lot of stuff going on at once there. Let him fight. Let him fight. Take some of that. A long way out there. There we go. We're making some progress. Had to let him tire himself out there. Come on in. Oh, oh, let him go. Let him go. A lot of buttons you got to push right here to keep everything moving smoothly. Hey, he's fighting. We're going to get him in. I think. Find a good speed, find a good drag. Just keep letting him fight. Keep reeling. Got him down to 400 now. Yeah. Yeah, tired you out, didn't we, bud? Heck yeah. Should be some kind of celebration. Oh, dang, he got he got moving again. Hang on. Good press and hold, we did that. Taking off again. We were so close though. We were so close. Now he's leaving. Don't leave. Oh, crap. So close again. I see him. I see my fish. Come back. Well, sir, here's a fight for real. Oh, why is he on top of the water now? That's kind of weird. This is a this is another brown bullhead, but uh, must be a big one, man. He's put up a fight here. All right, we're making some progress again. As long as he's coming toward us, we're fine. All right, now he's going away. We'll wait. Wait. Let him fight. Let him get tired. If I, if I go any tighter on the drag, I'll break the line. It's probably a lot bigger fish than what our setup can handle, so I'm having to just let him take it here. I'm gonna keep him right here on the 600 range. He's fighting. I mean, he's he's gonna he's gonna take off in a minute. Now look at him, man. He's taking off again.
Yeah, thirty percent drag is too much. I'm not not really making headway at twenty percent, so we're just going to let him fight back and forth here. All right, there we go. Making a little progress. But I don't get behind the rock. Come on now. Come on. Come on. This way. This way. Let's go. Oh, God. He's going back out again. Wow. I mean, he's pulling the line. So it's, I mean, it's just, it's just before, it's just before snapping. So, I mean, he's pulling it. Come on, man. He's behind the rock over here. Come on, get up behind there. Let's go. If I go any tighter, it, it gets red. If I go any looser, he just runs. Like, he'll be a thousand meters out there. I feel like I feel like twenty percent right there is pretty good. It's keeping that good balance of uh, of giving him some line, letting him fight, and then still giving me the ability when he lets up to reel. So Oh, he's coming in. Oh, God, he's going back out. We had him right here, too. We had him under under a couple of feet a few times here. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on, you're tired of fighting. You're done. You're done. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of fighting. Now, let's go. Get in here. Right at the wall right there, too. Yeah, got him. I'm talking about 15.8 inches, a two-pounder. Yeah, I think our setup just can't handle fish that big. That's a two-pounder. That's the biggest fish I've caught. So 15.8 inches with two, two pounds. I mean, it's not even that big, but uh, it's a new personal record. Uh, we'll definitely keep it. <laughs> that, was, that was a fight right there, ladies and gents. That was a fight. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was pretty good. Man. Oh, another one. Probably not going to be quite the same. I didn't realize I could do this, too. I can, I can choose my drag by just clicking the mouse button. I didn't realize that. Yeah, not near the fight there. That's a little bitty one, probably. 1.29 pounds. Uh, that's not that much smaller than the other one, but a 15-inch, 2-pound fish is is quite a difference in a, uh, a 1.2 pounds. So. Fish drinks too many energy drinks. No kidding. Oh, my, my, my line's still... Let's do this. Uh, let's go like that, and then let's go a little further out. That's still not quite as far as I wanted to go out. That's okay, though. There we go. Can you buy better equipment? You can, yeah, for sure. There's a whole big shop. I can't yet because I got to be a higher level, which is why I'm just here just catching fish. I got to level up, so. Any takers? Any takers? This jig right here works great, man. The worms are fine, but this jig works really well. Oh, oh, we had somebody that thought about it. Oh, got him. Yeah, there we go. Press and hold. There we go. I don't think I had, had the line quite far enough up. A pickerel. We'll let it go. We'll let it go. I keep forgetting to, to 
increase my um there we go let's get way out there this time Yeah, I keep forgetting to increase the real speed. This is where we want to be right here. I see you. Oh, fish on. Probably not going to be much of a fight, though, to be fair. 40% 40, 40 drag in this thing. I mean, we're just pulling it right in, so... And there we go. Little pumpkin seed. Or at least anything over a dollar I'm gonna keep. Like I said. I don't I don't I don't think there's a need to keep anything less than a dollar really. I mean we could, but they're not very big, so I'll have to sink down a good bit here, then we'll start uh like fourteen percent this time, I think. A little bit faster. See if we can't entice some bigger fish to come after it. Do you keep the money if you let it go? You don't. No, you have to go into your menu and sell it. Yeah, you have to go into your menu and sell your fish. Uh, you go to your net and you can sell your fish. Uh, but no, you get XP, uh, which is fine, because that's kind of what I'm going for over here. Dang! Hey, we got us a trout. Oh god, oh god, let it go, let it go. Oh. Keep forgetting which button to push here. Alright, we got us another fight on hand. Let him let him fight for a minute. Alright, we're making progress. Still making progress. Right, going out again. Okay. Drag's set just high enough to make him fight for it, so that's good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, come on in. Oh, fighting again. Okay. All right. Oh, easy, easy. Keep the line, keep the line taut. Go, let go of it. No, don't let go of it. Keep it. But quit fighting it. Keep. God. Ah, there we go. Make some progress back as much as we can here. Back to four, five hundred, four fifty, four hundred, three hundred eighty. All right, he's going out again. All right, there we go. Coming in. Come on. Trying to hold him right here. It's not working, though. Oh, there he goes again. All right, he made it out to like 1,100. So uh, we brought him back into 450-ish. So maybe we can still get him back in here. I think we can. Man, he's going around the beach over there. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Really putting up too much of a fight now. He's still fighting, just not uh, not quite as much. All right, there we go. Got some slack. Fight it again. Ah, uh, come on. I'm going to say this one's probably bigger than the than the actual um it weighs more than what our setup is supposed to handle, I think. Maybe. Maybe not, but it definitely feels that way. He's back out to 1000. And he's still going. Come on. Get over here.
Eleven hundred now. We had him down to four hundred. I know I can get him in. It's just gonna take a while. What do you do when one runs around the side of the beach? You go to it. They're fishing on land. This is your only option sometimes. Walk around to it. Yeah, for sure, man. Like, I think we're running like 1.5 pound test line or something. I haven't looked, but uh, if this guy's over two pounds, it's definitely going to be a challenge to get in for sure. And I'm going to say he's over two pounds. Uh, so, so Call of the Wild, the angler does the same thing now. Um, anything over what, what your rig can handle, it just, I mean, it just runs away with it. Like, you can reel all you want to, but you'll, you'll never, you'll never keep up with the drag because your, your reel can't handle it, you know? Like certain weights, your reel just can't handle. Uh, even at a hundred percent drag, it's going to pull it. So, uh, so in that setup, uh, Call of the Wild, the angler got it right too. Come on, don't do it! Oh god, he's taking off again. All right, we got him back over here now. All right, now we're getting him in. Yep, come on. I tried to up the drag to 30% so I could get some more pull, but. Oh, man, this is a fight. Oof. A thousand inches. Yeah, a thousand. I've got it set to inches, and for some reason it sets the. Uh, it's either yards and centimeters or just inches. Like, if I set it to feet, it might work, and I might do that. I might set to feet instead of inches. Because then it might tell me how many feet out, so. Pottage. What's up, Jeffrey? How's it going, buddy? Pottage and fish. Fish pottage. Let's go. I'm in. I'm in. You making it? Man. He's just all the way out there again, isn't he? Like, I even chased him around the, around the water. I can't go around that tree, though. I mean, he can't go that far. This is a closed quarry, I think. So it's not like he can just run off completely. All right, making some more headway. How long have we been fighting this fish, guys? Somebody time this. I'm curious. Yeah, it's so it's been. I had it within four hundred inches of me, uh, and then it ran off again. So we we make a little progress, and it just takes off running again. So we're we're, work, we're working it down, though. I think I think it's starting to tire out. <laughs> I say that as it's fifteen hundred inches away, or fifteen yeah fifteen hundred inches away from me. All right, there go. There we go. There was some progress coming back to us now. Back to twelve fifty before it took off again. Oh, oh, okay. I set that drag to thirty percent. It just tries to tries to snap it. I slow it down a little bit though. I mean, this is this to me. This is like fighting a real fish right here. It's not just catch it, reel it straight in, right? If you got a fish on there that's that's big and it's, and it's pulling your line, it's gonna take you a while because you're gonna have to play with the drag. You're gonna have to play. You're gonna have to let it let it tire out, stop pulling on you so hard, then you can reel. Like it, this is this is a fight. This is a real fight. No, uh, has it been twenty minutes? I don't think it's been twenty minutes, has it? Maybe not. Maybe not. True. What's up, buddy? 
kill you to noodle sometime. I mean, if dude, if we get a if we get a, a noodling game, I'd be all right. I'd climb out in the water and stick my arm underwater. Sure. All right, come on, come on. We're back down to fifteen. Back out there again, huh? Fifteen hundred. Nope. Nope. Taking off again. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, back under 15. Okay. Come on, man. Got under 15. It takes off again. I can't walk over to the other side of the lake, so we're just going to we're going to do it from here. Let them keep pulling for the until they tire out, I guess. Making progress again. Oh, there he goes. And this is just a fight. I mean, this is a this is a real life uh, battle right here. This is gonna be like one pound, probably. Probably, I mean, it's probably gonna be like two and a half pounds, honestly. Like, it's probably not gonna be very big. My, I've got the like the beginner free setup that you get in the game before you start, you know, leveling up and such. So, the uh, I don't know what pound test I'm running or what my reel can handle or anything like that. So yeah, it's probably gonna be like two pounds. <laughs> it's probably not gonna be that big. All right, we made it back down to thirteen. Got to stay on it. Every time that gray bar drops out there in the water, we need to be reeling. So. God, come on. Oh, oh, there we go. Gonna take off. All right, Bob, uh, you said something about not being there for the farm sim stream either, which is fine. That's cool, man. Enjoy your day, buddy. Have a good one. Yeah, when you think he's done, it's bam, another thousand out. Yeah. All right, we're back down to 500. Back down to 500, 400. God, there he goes again. Come on. Just stay here. Stay here. Stay right here. Just keep fighting from right there. Don't go so far out anymore. All right. I got the drag set to 30. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, you're getting tired now. I got the drag set to 30%. And it's not turning red. It's flashing. It's just not, it's not red. So that's good. Getting tired, are you? Yeah, my drag's been set at 20% uh, most of the time. So having it set to 30 and it not breaking the line or turning red is a good sign. That's a real good sign. That means he's getting tired. Hopefully. Ha! Ah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit of progress. I'll get to your truck and drag him in already. I wish I could, man. What we were talking about yesterday, man. I used to fish with like eight pound spider wire. I'd just drag in whatever I called. I didn't even care. It's not how you fish, but all right, back out to a thousand again. But again, though, the drag set to 30%. So uh, we the, the whole fight up until just a second ago when I mentioned it, we were set at 20. So I'm hoping we can start making some progress on the way in here. All right, all right, making making a little bit of progress here, giving a little pullback. Oh, had to drop back down to twenty. Like he got a second wind.
Ah. God, what a fight, dude. This is crazy. Oh, dang. He let go. He gave in. Oh, back down under seven. Oh boy, it's getting close. Oh, come on. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. Get over here. So close. Oh, no. We were within 200 again. <laughs> Come on, come on, he's right here, he's right here, let's go, come on, we're so close guys, we are so close, Ugh. oh, we almost had it, out of the water, out of the water, let's go, yes, we did it, whoo, 2.53 pounds, yeah, I told you, I told you it's only like 2.5 pounds. 16.9 <laughs> uh, inch rainbow trout, 2.53 pounds. Holy crap! What a what a what a fight, man! What a fight! Look at that thing, though. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Looks well, good. Whew! God, I need a drink after that. Jeez, Ronald, how's it going? Uh, I like it. I mean, it's... Oh, I turned the flashlight on at some point there, I think. I didn't realize we could kill the HUD with G. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, man, I like it. it believe me, it's... It's fun. Uh, it just... Uh, there's, there's no way to compare this and, and what we played yesterday. There's just no way. This is a simulator. That's a game, so... That's a good fish. On the setup we're using, heck yeah. Like a one one one, probably, yeah. I mean it's the it's the it's the free reel they start you out with. Which again, in Call of Wild the Angler was the same way, if you remember. When we caught something that was bigger than what our what our reel could handle for the gear ratio and everything, um we couldn't pull it in. Like there's no way. There was no way to pull it in. So Oh dang, we got a fish on. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Came out of nowhere. Uh, we can probably up the drag on this one. Get, oh, we're reeling slow. That's why. Yeah, turn that up. Let's go. Get it in here. Quit messing around. It's going to be a throwaway anyway. Holy crap, what a fight that was. Pro achievement unlocked. I don't know what that means. Uh, let me... Uh, oh, new level. Cool. I think I threw that back back. So I was trying to click on the... Uh, so we got $20. We got a five minute boost, XP boost, and five minute money boost as well. Uh, plus, we got level two. Press any key. Okay, cool. Uh, is there a new map we can go to now? I don't think there is. I think it's level three that we had to get to. Dude, that's uh, whew. Let's jump over here on this side. Let's fish with this jig here. This is where we're at while I go, and I think it is. Man, what a fight. 
That was fun. That was actually fun. Whoa! I don't like the real speed being on my mouse. It's so hard to... There we go. That was easy peasy. Look at that little guy. Little small mouth bass right there. Eight inches, half a pound. Uh, $1. eighteen though. Uh, we'll keep him. Can we keep him? I, don't, I, I guess we can. I mean, he was, he was 18 inches, right? So, is anything over 12 for small mouth? I don't know what the laws are in this state, but... Oh, something thought about it. Yeah, as as an actual fishing simulator, I like the game. Ugh. Oh, I don't think we got it. I think we missed him. Yeah, we missed him. All right. Now, since we got the jig, though, we can throw over here, too, though. I just thought about that. Bigger bait going after musky. I mean, how big was that fish? It was 2.5, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> it's 2.5. Uh, fish on. Okay, get that up. There we go. That's another another small one. That's right. Hey, we're getting some XP boost right now, so that's good. Uh, it's two dollars though. It's ten point ten point eight three inches. I don't know. If, I don't know which one of these we can keep or which one of these we can throw away. I have no idea, guys. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm gonna be real honest. I have no idea. I'm trying to throw out a little further next time. I'm trying to get across kind of where that tree is over there. See if we can make it happen. That's pretty good. That's about where I wanted. It's a long way out there. Plus, we got the current. It's going to be pulling us side to side here, too. Current's going to be going that direction. So, thing may drift a bit. Huh. Set the hook. There we go. Did you get a two pull there? That's all right. It's fine. Little bitty guy again. Where'd it go? <laughs> it's like it started to started to pull it in. Pumpkin seed. Uh, yeah, we're gonna let that one go. We can release it for eight XP. We can keep it for five XP and thirty three cents. We're just gonna let it go. I want the XP. Oh no 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 no! Too fast. There we go. Low and straight. I could do this. I could do the. The up and die. We said it. We said it. Okay, good. Oh, we got a fighter. Not much of one though. Our, our drag set on fifty, so I'll say he's probably gonna be about a pound and a half, maybe. Yeah, got him. No, not even a pound. Never mind. No, one point two pounds. Okay, that's not bad. Eleven inches, smallmouth bass. We'll keep it. Nine XP to keep it plus two ninety four. Yeah, I'll keep it. Heck yeah. Oh, uh, the lift and drop may be the way to go. That's pretty good. Like pop and twitch, it does a lift and drop, yeah. So it's it's similar, uh, which is which is what I'm probably gonna do. So we'll do a, a lift and drop. Lifts really quick though, doesn't it? Got him. Okay. 
trying to set the hook and change my mouse speed and I mean my my real speed and everything all at the same time. <laughs> all at once. Uh, pumpkin seed, seven point nine inches. We can release it for eight XP. Keep it for five and fifty four cents. We're gonna release it. Take the eight XP. Go way over there. Nice. All right. Let it go all the way down to a lift and drop across. Is this better than the Angler? Because I'm trying to find that out. I see a lot of negative reviews on the Angler, but not sure. They're two different games. Um, so there's a, there's, there's a few graphical things with the Angler that are not great. Uh, people complain about the way the water looks. It is kind of blurry. So the water looks fuzzy. Oh my god. The water looks fuzzy. Um, so uh, while it's a different game, uh, this is a simulator. The Angler is a game in which there's tasks and there's collectibles and all that kind of stuff to find. This is a fishing simulator. So, I mean, if you're looking for a, an actual fishing simulator, you want this. Or Rushing Fishing 4, one of the two. Um, if you want a game to play where there's activities and there's, there's collectibles and stuff to find, the Angler's good. Uh, but, again, there's some graphical stuff with the Angler. There's, there's, I, I wouldn't compare it to this. I saw a lot of those reviews. Um that we're comparing this and the angler and it, you can't it's two different games honestly all right 285 uh we're gonna keep it in 7 xp letting it drop yeah yeah letting it drop and, and letting it go there uh but yeah i would not compare the two games because this is an actual fishing simulator the angler is a game in which you play where you fish right so if, if you think about it in that context it may help you out uh, this game's 20 bucks. That game's 30 bucks. So it really just depends on what you're looking for, you know. And I think that's the biggest, the biggest thing there is. Um, is that it's it's just two different games, you know. Yeah, got him. Fish on. A lot of bass over there underneath that place. Yeah, the, the, the think of the angler as an arcade style game. Oh god, let that out. Uh, this one's probably gonna be about a two pounder. Pretty good. I mean, he's still trying to run with it, but I'm still reeling him in too, though. Uh, maybe more than that, because I've got it set to 20, and it's about to cap out. So we may be in the same situation we were in a minute ago. Hopefully not, though. Another 20 minute That was at least a 20-minute fight while ago. May have been a 25-minute fight to get that... Uh, what was that? A trout? I don't even know what it was, to be fair. Oh yeah, it's gonna be at least a two pounder. Two pound smallmouth bass, maybe my record, my personal best here. Come on, the movement in this game is a lot better. Again, this is this is a simulator, so the movement's a lot better. The camera works a lot better with it, I think. Uh, when you're reeling a fish. Um, but again, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do in the angler. But yeah, if you want a simulator, get this or Russian Fishing 4. Uh, I've heard Russian Fishing 4 is really good too. So, Rainbow Trout, okay. Yeah, I couldn't, I've already forgotten what it was, to be honest. Uh, but uh, this, is, this is a really fun game so far. The fishing fights are really good on here. Like, it just feels like you're fighting. It feels like you're battling a fish, you know? That game is more of an arcade style... Um, there's lots of stuff to do. The NPCs are kind of quirky and, and zany. And, you know, there's just a lot to do in that game uh, from what I've seen. But there's, a, again, some of, the, some of the arguments are legitimate, right, for why the game is not good. Some of, the, some of that stuff is legit. Like, the, the water is kind of blurry. Like, after reading the reviews and then going back and playing it again last night, I, 
I realize a lot of the stuff is off, yeah. Um, and this is an early access, uh, but the water and everything looks fantastic, which is a fishing game. The water should look good, so yeah, I agree with those, those comments too. But I actually don't mind the game. Uh, I actually, actually didn't mind playing, uh, um, Call of the Wild the Angler. It's, it's good. I mean, I like it. I like that there's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, the fishing's kind of a challenge in it, kind of like this. If the fish are bigger than your setup, they're hard to get in. You just got to let them keep fighting, which is what we're doing right here. Uh, so my setup's probably up to a two-pound setup. That's probably max, uh, which is why it's hard for me to get some of these fish in. Some of them are over two pounds, and it's the reel just can't handle it. The gear ratio on it's not right or something, you know? So, I mean... Uh, that game had a similar had a similar task. You know, you could do similar. It was the similar thing. Like once, if you caught a fish that was bigger than than what your setup could handle, you either didn't get it in, or it took you a very long time to get it in. So, um, well, I mean, it's not. No, that's what I'm, that's not what I'm saying. You can immediately get a car. You don't have to pay for a car or a boat. You can get both of those right off the bat and just go fishing uh, in the angler. Um, but there's other things you can do, though, that, that have to do with fishing spots and fishing lore. Like, you find collectibles, you find notes that have to do with fishing lore. Again, it's more of a game. So if you're looking for a fishing simulator, then, yeah, you want this or Russian Fishing 4 or something like that. People who fish would like this game, yeah. If you're looking for a fishing video game with some, with some quests and some, some collectibles and some lore and stuff to it, then the angler's there, but the graphics aren't, the water graphics aren't near as good. Like, this water looks fantastic. If you played this in VR, it would be like sitting on the beach, I mean, sitting on the bank and fishing yourself, so. Uh, this looks really good. I played Ultimate Fishing 1 in VR, and it's fantastic. Like, it started raining, I was just sitting on the bank, just sitting there, enjoying the rain, you know. But yeah, if you're an actual, so, so the mechanics work okay, on on the angler uh there are levels you can't you can't just go buy any rod and reel you want you got to have money to do it like th this is similar setup to this in the in the way the the menu and the way the leveling and the way the gear operates it's similar to this it's very similar because you can't just go get the biggest reel like you got to level up you got to make the money you know all that kind of stuff you got to have the money to do it so it's it's pretty similar in that aspect uh but so far the thing that i've seen is the water quality is just terrible uh that's the biggest thing uh, but I wouldn't compare it to this, though. Again, there's there's notes you find. There's there's little trinkets and stuff you can find. You get, you can go visit different locations. Like there's there's all kinds of stuff there. And I don't mean locations as in just the lake. I mean like one of the tasks is like go check out the windmill. And there's a pond by the windmill you can fish in too. So there's a reason they're sending you those places. I'm sure. But um, I don't know. I may just do a whole breakdown video on on both because I feel like it's needed at this point. Uh, I'd love to give my honest opinions on both. Uh, after playing this for three hours and playing the other one for three hours. So. But yeah, the the fights on here, like this, this is, to me is like, this is an actual fight right here. You know what I mean? Like, this is what it would feel like catching a, a pretty large smallmouth bass on a setup that's not made for catching a, a two-pound smallmouth bass. Like, this is what it would feel like trying not to break your line. You're just letting it run, get it close, get it in. It runs again, you just let it go. You don't want to break your line, of course, so... Yeah, this is what it, this is what it would feel like to me. Uh, so this, this, as far as realism goes, yeah, but it's a simulator, you know? Uh, the other game is not a simulator. Uh, I don't think it's advertised as a fishing simulator either. It probably is, but I mean, it's a simulator to an extent, but uh, it's not called the Angler Angler Simulator. It's just called the Wild the Angler. So uh, again, I think it's all preference. Uh, if you're looking for a game that you can play, where you can, you know, you're not just doing this the whole time you're playing, then the Angler, you know, it's not a bad option. But again, the water is blurry. They, the comments are right about that. <laughs> the water is blurry looking. Uh, the qu the quality of the water graphic is pretty awful, to be fair. Ugh. Come on, get up here. 
Get up here. No, come back. Come back. God, we're so close. We were so close. Almost had it out. If I could have got him out of the water, I could have just pulled him in. I couldn't get the line uh, out enough. Nice back out. Man. Do you think they should have just made it a DLC for Call of the Wild? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I didn't play a whole lot of Call of the Wild, so... Uh, I played some multiplayer with some friends of mine. Uh, we had fun, ran around, drove some four-wheelers. You know, like... Um, but should it have been a DLC? I don't know. Maybe. Um, it's it's a whole other game to itself, though. There's a lot of content there. You know, it's not like it's just some fishing. There, there's a lot of content there, like Call of the Wild. Like Call of the Wild, you go to the different locations, and you and there's lore, and there's notes and stuff you find. It's the same thing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it could have been a DLC. Probably. Was it needed, though, as a DLC? I don't know. I mean, maybe it needed its own game, you know? Uh, is this multiplayer? There's chat function. Yeah, it, this is, this is yeah, like, I'm in a lobby somewhere. I, I've seen people, like, every time you see something pop up that says so-and-so caught this fish, that's somebody just randomly out there somewhere. So, yeah, it's multiplayer for sure. Uh, and you can join your friends and play on the same area. I think me and Big Pace used to do this. Me and Big Pace and Nanners and Buckham did it. Seedrum. That whole, that whole crew. Yeah, see right there. Maka caught a rainbow trout, 11 pounds. An 11 pound rainbow trout. Wow. Man. I probably should have been reeling right there, but <laughs> I've, I've been I've been clicking this button so long, I just forgot when I'm supposed to click it. Uh, what are we at? We at 10 minutes with this fight yet? Oh, come on. I'm trying, guys. I really am. All right, making some progress. Back down to 1700 again. It's like as soon as it drops, he just takes off again. All right. Come on. Come on. Under 17. Back down to 16. All right, let's go. Must be getting tired over there, huh? We're getting it. Keep bumping the drag up. No. You're going the wrong way again. You're going the wrong way again. Oh, there we go. All right, I guess I'll get a little relief there. I'm still bringing him in. He's not fighting near as hard now. Oh, man, this is tough. I'm trying to keep the fight on him, you know? So we can get that drag to 30% without him, without it going red, you know we're in good shape because getting tired. Like every time he gets close to 400, it's like, nope, I'm out of here. No, we're so close. Uh, come on. Come on. Let's go. No, you're going the wrong way again. God, he's all the way back out there again. Oh, man, what a fight. Seriously.
Come on. I'm going to check the audio settings. I'm going to turn the sound up a lot. Oh, we're starting to hit on 30 now. A little bit more without it redlining. He's close to redlining on 30, but... It's going to tire him out a little bit more right there. Every time we can get that drag set up, one more setting... When you see the bottom right there, you see it on that second red dot there. That's 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 borderline. That's borderline breaking the line right there. Got it up to 30. Once we got up to 30 while ago, we were good because we started being able to pull a little bit more every time. <laughs> Gabriel, there's a song for everything, man. I say this every day. There's definitely a song for everything. Come on. I mean, he's just taking it, isn't he? Here we go. Here we go. This is our time now. This is our time now. Never mind. He took it back out. Letting him fight. Uh, I've still got it on 30. Uh, we started out on 20 and 10, bouncing back between those two, so. Careful. Careful. Okay, we'll let it back out a little bit. Got, got a lot of fight left in him to get a second win there. I'm mean, gonna let him take some, like, hit that 30% now. You see it flashing red. That's not what we want, so. All right, there we go. We're moving moving back toward us now. That's good. He's man, just fighting. This is just a fight. I mean, that's all it is. Like, our, our reel is definitely not set up for whatever weight this guy is. So, I think Jeff's right, though. I think the gear ratio is 1 1 1. <laughs> you catch a, I catch a tree branch that's stuck in the mud, and it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to drag it in. Yeah, the gearing of the reels, line strength, stuff like that. And again, the angler did a pretty good job of that too. Like people may be overlooking some of the the details in that game because of the the water graphics and the you know the water in the bottom of the boat and the hit boxes of the water and all that kind of stuff. They may be they may be overlooking some of that kind of stuff because I found it the same. This feels the same as the angler when I catch something that's way too big for my setup. So uh, it just kept pulling and kept pulling. And I never could get it in. So I mean, that in that aspect, uh, it's pretty close. Uh, you got to get you got to get bigger pound test line. You got to get a reel that's got the right gear ratio that can hold that line set up. Um, and it, it feels very similar to this, to be fair. So in that aspect, I think they did it right. Uh, they just got the graphics wrong, which is the main thing. I mean, if you're going to be sitting here playing this for hours, right? You want to look at nice water graphics like this. So I understand the complaints. I do. I get it. Uh, but I think some of the stuff they did right is being overlooked. Uh, I thought we were about to make progress again. Back up to 30. All right, now we're back at 30 again. That's good.
Don't pull too hard. There we go. Yeah, we're at, we're at 20 minutes fighting this fish now. We're probably about 18 minutes now fighting this one fish. Well, you should do the same thing with that rainbow trout while it goes, so... Looked over at chat for a half second, missed my opportunity to reel in. I mean, I really can't do a whole lot. He's still pulling pretty hard. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, making a little bit of progress there. We're just kind of, we're just kind of letting him have it right now. Making a little bit of movement toward us now. That's good. I'm still reeling because I'm still watching the numbers drop. All right, there we go. About maxed out there. Oof. Gargoyle reminded me to hit the like button. Hit that like button to help us get this fish in. Jeez, man. Well, missed opportunity there, I think. It's not helping, <laughs> and I can't go any higher on the drag or to break the line. That's pretty much where we're at right now. It's not realistic in that sense. No, that's true. That's true. Uh, I think they. I think they've done as well as any game though uh, for simulation fishing. Honestly, uh, Ultimate Fishing Sim was. I mean, it's one of the. One of the better games you can play for fishing. There's a free one. What's the free one called? This guy, you can pay for the DLC stuff, but there's a free game. What was it called? Um, I do not remember what it was called. It's free on Steam, though. I think it's free. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're making some movement. Small fish. Yeah, small fish. A two pound fish is not going to fight for this long. You're absolutely right. Um, but. I guess considering the setup and to give people the immersion, you know, like I get it, I guess. But yeah, you're right. I mean, two pound fish, it, you're not gonna you're not gonna fight this long. Fishing Planet, yeah, Walter, there you go. Fishing Planet, Fishing Planet's a lot of fun. That may be the one me and Pace used to play. Me and Pace and Anders and Buckham and Cedrum and all of us, um, we'd get together on that one and play. Fishing Planet was fun too, uh, and it's still fun. It's still a pretty big game in amongst fishing simulators. So. God. Can we get back under a thousand? Just want to get back under. Oh, we're back under a thousand. And we're back over a thousand. We're getting there, though. A Sokka something. Walla? Sokka? No, that's not right. Sokka something. All right, making progress. Making progress again. We want to see how big this fish. I had you guys know I haven't looked at this yet, right? Like, I'm just gonna reel for a second. We'll look. How big do you think that is? Like two point five, maybe two and a half pounder. I think it's about a two and a half pounder. We've been fighting now for twenty five minutes. Oh god, I hit the wrong button. I almost broke the line right there. That would have been silly. 25 minutes, get it right up to me, and then break the line. 
I just like when they get right here to you, man. They're like, nope. Not doing it. I'm just going to keep reeling and pulling. I know I really should be letting off when he's fighting, but... We're in no danger of breaking the line since we have the visual. So, 2.2, you think? That's possible. Yeah, 2.2. I say 2.5. Oh, we're up to 40. 40, 40 on the... 40% 40 on the uh, drag. Oh my god, he's right here. Like, you can see him. Oh, he's almost done. Yeah, we're at 50% on the drag. Got him. Holy moly. Uh, 4.2 pounds. Are you kidding me? Ronald, we need a stronger reel. 4.2 pounds smallmouth bass. Wow. I did not expect that thing to be 4 pounds. I think the ratio of size is a bit off. The other fish that was 2.5 or whatever was that big. It was also a trout, though, wasn't it? Holy crap. Uh, near near 30 minute fight right there to get that guy in. 4.2. Shoo! <laughs> Man, that was a lot, guys. That was a lot. Uh, wow. I'll we'll let it swing it on around there and get a screenshot of that. That's nice. Get my mouse out of the way. It's a nice screenshot with the mountain in the background and everything. There we go. Holy crap, man. Yeah, 4.2 4 pounds. It's $10 for this fish. Keep it for 22. Throw it away for 33. We're keeping it and getting the $10. That was a bit anticlimactic. What do you mean? That was a 20, 20 near 30 minute fight for a four pound fish on a probably a, a two pound setup. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Gracious, uh, good gracious! All right, let's let's throw let's throw back over there. That worked really well. Uh, I, I gotta tell you though, I'm leaving. I'm leaving in 20 minutes. I gotta pick the kid up from school. So, uh, if we if we if we don't catch anything, or if we catch another big one, I may have to cut the line and just go. So, This right here works really well. It's a big fish on a two pound setup though. You gotta think, I'm working with like the free starter gear they give you, which is probably a two pound setup at most. So, like I'd say that's pretty good for the setup we had. Ha! Yeah, got him on, all right, cool. There you go. Uh, that's a brown bullhead. That thing's gonna be, that's gonna be like a pound and a half right there. Maybe. 1.2 pounds. 1.2. Right? 1, 1.2? 1.4. 1. Okay, almost a pound and a half. Yeah, I'll keep it. 4 XP, 14.10 inches. Nice. We'll keep it. Good gracious though, man. I mean, that's the fun part though, right? I mean, in real life, you're not gonna fight a four pound fish for 30 minutes, right? Like, that's not gonna happen. I never did. I've never fought a four pound fish for 30 minutes. I've never caught much bigger than a four pound fish, so. I mean, it does seem a bit anticlimactic, but I mean, everybody wants to see that big 10-pound fish, you know, but 
with the setup we're using, I'd say it's pretty good. So, like, I'm I'm happy with it. Uh oh, we got a fighter. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be another fight right here. It's another brown bullhead, but the drag set on thirty uh, twenty percent again. Anytime I gotta set the drag on twenty, it's gonna be a a two or two and a half or better fish for sure. This guy's just running away with it too. All right, if I can't get him in in, in eighteen minutes, then I'll have to just drop it. Or maybe see if I can pause it and come back and do it when I get back home. <laughs> All right, we got 18 minutes to get it in. Let's get it. I right, can't go up to 30 yet. That's all right. Yep. Getting closer. Which we had that bass pretty close to start with, and it just took off again, so. Oh, it didn't like that at all, did it? I mean, we're 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 hanging around six hundred. That's that tells me that we're okay. I think not quite not quite to thirty percent drag yet, though. Not quite. We're getting there. We're, 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 we're holding around 600, which is good. I mean, that bass ran out to like 1,700 inches. So, And I need to change that back to feet, I think. Something else I've realized, too, it also matters, uh, much like real life, the direction the fish is trying to run. If you go opposite that, uh, the angler does really well with this, too, right? Um, if the fish is running to your right, you want to pull to the left. Try to keep it, you want to try to keep it center, right? Like, think of a center point, try to keep it there. But not too much, you rip the hook loose, break your line, whatever, but still, yeah. I mean, I think both games did a pretty good job of that, so. Uh, which Ultimate Fishing Sim 1 did the same, so. Like, this guy starts running to the left, I want to pull to the right here. Like I'm some kind of fishing expert. I have no idea what I'm talking about half the time. I've been fishing. I've caught fish. I've eaten fish uh, at the lake on the campfire. But uh, I'm no fishing pro by any means. You'll never catch me in a fishing tournament. All right, we're up to 30%. If we, can, if we can keep it out of the red at 30. That'll tire him out a little quicker. you got to pull a little bit harder on it, so... Pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna say this is gonna be 2.5 pounds or so. It's not gonna be another four pounder by any means. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 2.16, yeah, so it wasn't even a two and a half pounder.
You stream it later? I am, yeah. Yeah, yesterday, Celtic Moon, I said a couple of times on stream, I just forgot to put it out in the Discord that uh, I had an appointment to go to yesterday. So we can keep that for 5 XP and $1.66. It is almost a, I mean, it's a 16-inch uh, brown bullhead, though. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, again, I'll, I'll keep fishing as long as we don't hit that... Uh, uh, we can go look at our fishing net, though. Let's go open our fishing net here. So the brown bullhead we just caught is a 2.01 pound. We sell it for... Uh, Oh man, we can add that. We can add that thing to to trophy. That uh, that rainbow trout. We can add to trophy. Smallmouth bass is what I really want to add to the trophies. But we can sell it for eight dollars. We can sell it for eight dollars. That's pretty good. A four and a half pound or four point two pound smallmouth bass. What's that noise? Hang on a second. All right, sorry about that. It was uh, brakes, but God, city city workers need to fix some brakes. It was so loud. Of course, I'm also like a Windows right out right next to me. So, uh, all right, so we can sell these. Uh, we can keep them, but we're gonna sell them. Uh, the bullhead. I don't know if we want to. We could add to aquarium. Should we add one of these to the aquarium? One of these cheap ones, maybe. Uh, like this guy. Let's add that to the aquarium. Uh, and let's add the brown bullhead to the aquarium. I kind of want to sell the rest of these, though. That's a pretty decent size uh, yellow perch right there, too, but I think we're going to add that to the aquarium. I got an achievement for the other one, so... You, you, you would think that, Gabriel, but... Uh, I would hear them come in the door. Like, I would hear them in the house. I uh, have dogs. So. <laughs> uh, should I should I add the rainbow trout to the aquarium or add the trophies? Uh, I don't... Is A 2.5 pound rainbow trout is not big. I mean, that's a small that's a small trout, right? So, uh, be featured in a Mr. Ballin episode? Dude, uh, I, I never want to be featured in a Mr. Ballin episode ever. No. <laughs> no, thank you. Sell all... Should I sell the rest of them? I think I should just sell the rest of them. I'm just gonna sell the rest of them. 18 bucks, not bad. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, not bad. Uh, what do we need? 16 more XP, I guess, to, to up that. I guess I don't know what that means. Uh, but if we go to the shop real quick, you can see uh, that we are level two, but we need level three for a lot of this stuff. So there's packages, right? But that's level three. We could come by this once we hit level three. And there's a whole setup for 900. We only have 255. We're getting there. Like, we're making money, but, man, it's tough. I want to see what our real... What? How do I see... Uh, so this is the real we're using right here. Uh, it is a 3.97 pound. The gear ratio is 5 to 1. 5.2 uh, 5 to 1. That doesn't seem right <laughs> if that's the real we're using. Because uh, where is my... Yeah, let's go to my equipment here. Uh, strength. This is what we... Hang on. Seriously? No, this is a level three. This is this is that's not what we're using. We don't have a level three reel, do we? If the, if what we're using right now is a six point one pound, and we're having to fight that hard for for two pound fish. That's pretty wild. Uh oh, the line is only one point seven two pound though. Maybe it's the line itself. Let's go to the shop. Lines. Can we buy a bigger line right now? Uh, strength, 2.87 pound. Maybe we should switch it out for this. Oh, there's a level 2 line. Okay, cool. Uh, so 4.85. Our, our reel, our reel can handle 4 pounds. Uh, 6 pounds. So we could go up technically to, uh, to a 4 pounder. So we could go 4.85. Um, it's a 0.18. A little thicker, of course, but. Uh, here's a 0.14. There's a three, three point one five pound thickness is 0.16 here for 2.87 pound. I say we go with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this. Then we're gonna go to our equipment. 
We're going to change our line out on our first setup. We're going to go to this line. And I want to see if that makes a difference. It may not. It might. I don't know. But we're going to find out. Uh, I got about 10 minutes, so... We'll see if it makes a difference on some of these bigger fish. It may not. We got one. We got one. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Uh, it's not going to be very big, though. Not going to be very big at all. Yeah. Drags all the way up. We just reel it straight in, I guess. There we go. Not very big. That is a point seven eight, And uh, we'll just release it and get the XP. Yeah, I never want to be featured in a Mr. Ballin episode. I mean, it would it would cement the legacy of Deuce and Miss, but still, I don't I don't want that I don't want that legacy to be fair. Oh God, I forgot my line was still my reel was still set on a uh, hundred percent there. Everyone hit the like button before Deuce leaves. I think everybody has. Looking looking pretty good. And if fishing is not your thing, I'll be playing some farm sim on Twitch here in about uh, an hour and ten minutes or so. If you guys want to come back and hang out for some sugarcane farming in South America on Nova Estancia map, I'll be over there tomorrow on YouTube. We are launching the new uh, community map. Oh, got him. Uh, we're launching the new community map uh, tomorrow right here on YouTube. Uh, every Friday. Farm Sim Friday is coming back. Uh, I had my stint with, with the uh, um, the city builders. I've been having fun with them. We're still going to keep doing them. Um, nah, it's nothing really to be excited about. We'll throw that back too. Uh, I've had my stint with the city builders. We're going to keep going on Farthest Frontier. We're going to wait on Sapiens to have some some content update, I think, before we go back to it too, too heavily. Uh, but Farthest Frontier, i still got stuff to do. Farm Sim Friday is going to be a thing, and I'll only be playing on the community server on Fridays on Farm Sim, so I'll only be, I'll only be streaming it on Fridays on, on YouTube. I should, I should uh, make that statement a little bit better. Um, FSN and the Sugar Farm will still be on Twitch. Um, I don't have everything completed yet for the um, community farm, but I'm getting there. So... Yeah, got it. <laughs> I don't know if that was, I don't know if all that was needed or not, but oh, come on, up the real speed. Let's go. 80% drag. It's pulling pretty good on 80, so this is going to be about a pound. Uh, I don't know now because now we're using 3.15 pound test lines. So I don't know what this is going to do, to be honest with you. And also, don't forget my second channel called Pixel News Plays, where if you like stuff like Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, things like that, uh, I'm playing Dinkum currently over there, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, it's a 2.2 pounder, guys. We would have fought this thing forever to get that in while ago. So yeah, that line made a difference. It was the line that was keeping us off. Keep... Oh man, that was so much easier. So much easier. Alright, GG, have a good one, buddy. One more, one more fish, I think. And again, if we got to fight it for more than four minutes, I'm going to have to go. So, uh, just one more fish. I feel like this is how this game gets you, right? Just one more fish. Just one more. Just one more fish. Which yesterday we did go a little over time too, so. So the slow and straight works, the drop works too, it seems. So the slow lift and drop here. 
This seems to work really, really well most of the time, though, it seems. I don't think we've thrown out there without bringing something back, so. I think we got him that time. Had to get that hook set. Uh, we're still on 80% drag, and we caught that 2.2 pound uh, bullhead. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, guys. That The line made all of it. It was the line that was keeping us from getting it. That's all it was. What are these guys out here working on? Now they're backing up. I hear the backup beeper. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, 1.46 pound yellow perch. This this would have been forever and a day to keep all ago. 335. All right. Dude, the line made all the difference in the world. All right. Let's go. We need to exit location. Let's go back to the main menu. Uh, I'm not going to throw again because I just know I'm going to get into something crazy if I do. Uh, so we can do tournaments. Uh, so there are daily tournaments, right? Um, duration, 1,400 minutes. That's a lot. Uh, remaining time, 11 hours, 25 minutes. So it's a whole day. Prize pools, 500. That's pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, there's lots of stuff to do in this game, right? There's player tournaments you can get into. Uh, my tournaments. We can create a tournament if we want to do... If, everybody, if, if community had this game, we want to create a tournament, we could. Uh, total weight of fish. Duration, 60 minutes. Participants, two right now. Entry fees, $50. Allowed method, any. Uh, it's got four minutes remaining. So if we'd have joined this uh, an hour ago, we would... I don't know how well we would have done. This guy's got 90, 95 pounds. I'm guessing this is a second account. I don't know. Uh, that's what it seems like. 95 pounds right there. I don't think we would have outcaught that guy. But yeah, you can do tournaments. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's go to our net. Uh, open fishing net. Then we're going to go back to residence. We're going to sell both of these uh, for another 45. Let's go to residence. I want to see our aquarium. Oh, yeah. Look at this place. Aquarium. Uh, total fish, 0 of 10. 0 of 10. 0. 3. 0. Yeah, 3. Here we go. There they are. There they are. So where's my... There it is. My small mouth, my perch, and my bullhead right there. Nice. So 3, three of 10. Very good. Uh, oh, feed the fish. I didn't realize we had to feed him. Look at him eat. Get it. Get it. You're letting it go. He's chasing it. Oh, no. The bass got it. The bass got it, it looks like. There you go. Get you one. Oh, no. <laughs> the poor perch. Uh, very cool. So you can feed the fish. You got a whole residence here, which is really cool. Go look around at stuff. Here's here's some trophies. Some uh, trophies you can put up. Didn't I do one of these as a trophy? Or two of them, maybe? I don't remember. I just wanted to, to remember my first big first big catches here. Uh, I don't know where they would be, though. In the trophy room. I don't see any on the wall anywhere. Yeah, I don't see any fish on the wall. The walking around is kind of wonky, but this game, it's not a walking game. It's a, it's a fishing game, so. Uh, I thought I kept some as trophies. I guess I didn't. Uh, either way, uh, that is going to do it for today. I appreciate you guys for being here, hanging out for some Ultimate Fishing Sim 2. Remember, if you want to see me just play more, uh, see me play more of this, uh, leave a like. Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys. I'll be back on Twitch here in about an hour. Coming out for some South American farming, sugar farming. We're going to be rearranging and probably, uh, maybe paying off some more of a loan today, hopefully. Uh, I appreciate you guys, though. Have a good one. Later, folks.